Hello everyone, it's uh, Halima with um, Healthy Eating. I wanted to share a very tasty rice that is very simple that you can make in a rice cooker. This is just a simple Black & Decker rice cooker where you just press a button after you put your ingredients and it's done. So the rice is so delicious. And the secret to this recipe is basically broth. And here I have a one and a half cup of um, pot roast broth that had vegetables, that had carrots and um, bok choy in it. And then here I've washed uh, um, one cup of rice, which is actually like a big cup, but it's like one portion basically. So anyway, so I, I already washed it and rinsed it. And then I'm going to put uh, one and a half cup of uh, this is jasmine rice. That's how much the instructions saying is one and a half cup of um, broth in there. And then I put in about um, uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil. I just used the uh, uh, refined uh, Natova, this from Costco, coconut oil. And then I put oh, about um, a tablespoon of uh, um uh, bouillon chicken powder in, in there uh and then uh a sprinkle of of black pepper just use the fine uh ground black pepper just a little bit sprinkle and then a sprinkle of garlic powder you can also add turmeric in here you can add mixed vegetables if you like um but make sure that if you add other stuff in there you can even add spinach, I've added parsley in there, so there's different varieties. Um, I like it for certain things, just a plain uh, rice, you know, to, to have vegetables and stuff. And then make sure that you you taste the, the water, make sure that it has enough salt, like this looks like it needs a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of, um, I just use the mortared iodized salt, just a little bit more in there, and just sprinkling to taste. So cooking, cooking is all about taste. You can add garam masala if you like it more spicy. Um, it's gonna keep it simple, but this is delicious. So you guys will love this recipe. So anyway, after it's mixed, um, like I said, if you put anything else, make sure that you have about uh, half an inch uh, I'm sorry, not half an inch, one inch of water. That's how they do it in, in my country. Make sure that this has uh, an inch of water. This is like one and a half, so it's half an inch actually. But um, so as you can see, it is on a somewhat fluffy because I had an inch, but I would just go for what's a one and a half uh, cap of the instructions, which is uh, about half an inch of um, water on this. But I left the rice in there for a little bit, so it absorbed um, some of the <clears throat> water that it had on its own. And after I washed it, I did drain the water. But anyway, so then after that's done, you're going to um, put the lid on it, and you just press the uh, button. And that's it. When it's done, I'll show you guys step two, the final result. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Y'all have a great day, but this is so delicious. I uh, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get enough of this. You know, I'm going to have a little bit more right now. Mmm, it's so tasty because it's got the chicken broth flavor and uh, the the pot roast flavor. And you can't taste the, actually the black pepper and the garlic, but I put it in anyways. All right, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my channel. God bless. Bye-bye.